Hey stars, welcome to part two. We're going to clarify some of the energy that is taking place on the board. Now, quickly going forward, we have Saturn here. We have Taurus, right? We're talking about Earth. I'm hearing sustainability. I don't know if somebody's doing composting or something like that. Uh, but this could definitely be, in take, be taking something that has already been used and reusing it. How that resonates to you, I do not know. Right up under that, we have Mercury Retrograde Reinvention. Now, somebody from your past may be wanting to reach out to you. Now, this person may have previously been blocked off because they were dealing with karma. Because of what they may have participated in or who they have in their circle. This person needed to reevaluate their circle. This is an individual that is currently facing a lot of obstacles, okay? Because it has to do with whatever they invested in the past, whether if it was a partnership, a business, or whatever. This person is having to pay the cost to be the boss. Now, in the first reading, I did see Saturn return retrograde, right? So that talks about paying dues. That's something that happens every 29 year cycle, if I'm not mistaken that particular card says 50 on it so someone definitely could be 50 yeah but they don't necessarily have to be it's every 29 years and this has something to do with the planet alignment so you could be um 30 right and it, it is happening to you because it's just your time so age really doesn't have nothing to do with it i'm not an astrologist i'm only going by what i'm being guided to do uh, guided to say here. All right. So the 11th house, that is Aquarius energy. All right. With Jupiter being here, um, abundance. Okay. That's Sagittarius Pisces energy. So somebody could definitely be on the cusp of Aquarius or Pisces in this friends group or circle. But Pisces is a, represent, a representation of the high priestess. Okay. So this could either be a secret, something that was kept from you or somebody in this circle does some form of divination and they are, they pay for it to mess up someone's beauty Okay, stability, home, career, or whatever, possibly even block communication. For some of you, you may be experiencing that Mercury retrograde energy where your equipment is being affected, your communication is being affected, how you communicate, even simply filming a video. And not realizing that the camera is on, sending a text and sending it to the wrong person, being rerouted while on a trip using a GPS, any form of communication, right? Communication here, communication here with Mercury. All right. Mercury talks about the mind. It is also uh, a Gemini energy. Okay. Gemini Virgo. So. Somebody is having to reinvent the way they communicate, possibly the way they get money. All right. If you haven't checked out the first reading, make sure to do so because they go with each other. All right. So we have the sun card, Leo energy. Something is being illuminated, having to do with somebody's spirituality, travel, communication, Writing, expansion, growth. This is a lesson for someone. Somebody's being forced to change, okay, after refusing uh, some sort of change. Now, this doesn't have to be you, but for some of you, it is. Uh, you may have been repetitively doing the same thing, expecting different results, okay? I'm hearing the signs of the time. So, some of you, you have to hit the ground running here. You may even have to change um, your work environment, your home, um, you know, this could be simply, I'm not going to write in this room. I'm going to write in that room, or I'm going to go to the park, or um, I'm going to go in a, a different place to do something. It's talking about rapid change, unexpected change here. Okay. Right in front of me, we got Libra, Virgo in the first house. Okay. So this is talking about the way you see a uh, healthy, uh, relationships. Okay. This is also the way you see health, physical health, mental health. Okay. The way things appear. So for some of you, this is someone that may appear like they got things all together, but they don't necessarily have it and vice versa. 
Okay. All this blue is an indication of communication air. The only red card that we have is demonstrate. Okay. That's about take uh, action, creativity, rapid. Okay. Passion and communication. This is also a card that's on the fence. Okay. Because somebody's indecisive or you or this person was in the past. Now we're going to go ahead and see. Saturn, why is this here? And I, I would to like to say um, that these readings are not to be um, remixed or uh, video recorded. Okay. I, I would prefer that they not be shared on any platform here. Okay. So we have a schemer. So in the first reading, it talked about somebody that, you know, plotted. Okay. So this is confirmation that somebody gets their money in uh, nefarious ways. Okay. And this is someone that is partnered with another person or a group. This could also be uh, an institution that may be underwater or going underwater all right we have blockages due to a lack of faith mind body and spirit is not in sync now for some of you you may have addressed that you could be like a truth teller we also have the occult masters here we have archangel zavkel righteousness of god forgiveness compassion and gemini all right so this is somebody that needed to be brought down to their knees now this is someone that may have a god complex they may consider themselves a demigod but this is someone that has connections or um they actually do it themselves where they go to these gay day spirits. Now, for somebody, some event may have happened on a Saturday. There could have been formations of birds, like weird things happening in the air. 3, 7, and 21 is significant. But this is, for some of you, somebody that does this work on a Saturday. Maybe they have a 9 to 5. Maybe this is someone that does does these ritual practices on certain days and i can't put it in the camera but we have somebody that's into questionable things you can see it right there right so this is somebody that has associated themselves into that environment okay this could also be somebody that's into white collar crime all right and obviously that is why we have it now for some of you this person has children these could be adult children OK, that may watch you or some sort of childish individual involved in this circle that watches you and reports back. OK, the 11th house. Why is this here? I, it, this is giving me the, the energy of somebody that tried to scam you, mimic you or lie on you. OK, somebody has some inherited traits that they they may have received. OK from the matrix the 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 masculine energy in their family okay this is talking about somebody being used as a tool a tool of deceit now these is a group of people could be flying monkeys this is talking about releasing bad habits stressful situations and negative thinking right so this is what this individual was doing now of course they were hiding behind some sort of costume here all right. Somebody could have paid to try to back out of something or they're paying someone to come at a certain individual. Somebody may be sending you a message or they were sent a message. Release bad habits. Why is this here? We got something from the past is revealed. OK. This person's all in their thoughts about this now this could be something that you may have spoke to this person about about this uh, corporation about this friends group okay and somebody wants to be released from some sort of contract or some sort of binding here so we're talking about someone you least expected or they did and we have interesting enough we have the crossroads and in the first reading i talked about someone going to the crossroads because the day that i'm doing this reading is a monday you won't see it until the next day or whenever you um, get this reading that's when it's meant for you to see okay again there's no uh time in 
the spirit realm. It's only divine timing. So we have someone that gained pleasure with the dopamine card here. Okay. Their pleasure receptors went to bing, 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 bing. Okay. When they got themselves or get themselves in chaotic situation because they like to see conflict. This is somebody that is draining. When you go around this person, you may feel tired or someone does after they deal with this individual. Okay. So I feel like somebody wasn't using their intuition. They were seeing all the signs and synchronicities that was playing, uh, playing, taking place here, but they wouldn't put two and two together. Okay. I feel like it's because someone considered this individual or you consider these individuals friends. So something from the past is revealed that's causing somebody some stress. OK, I feel like they had a secret involvement in this situation. Demonstrate why is this here? We got distraction. So. Your opponent, your rival, your adversary. OK. Um, was the monkey in the middle. Okay. This is somebody that has no shame. Something is being revealed about this person. I feel like they may know that this individual had some nefarious ways, okay, or some underhanded ways here, but they may have overlooked it. This person may have promised someone that they were going to change, but they definitely did. Now, somebody's moving because they don't feel... Um, uh, a connection with this person. Their spiritual values do not add up uh, to this person's. And might I say, you can be religious and spiritual and still be equally yoked, okay? Uh, and vice versa. But um, this person just doesn't like the way this person gets down. This person has the energy of a black widow, okay? Some of you, you may be seeing a lot of spiders or whatever, okay? That could also just be a distraction. Somebody was trying to taint the way someone seen you, okay? Or if you were going through some sort of transformation in the past, because for some of you, it could have been a Saturn return, um, you know, a dark night of the soul or whatever, because that did come out in the first reading. Um, you know, this person was trying to paint you in a negative light. Now, for some of you, you may have attracted this person, especially if you were on social media, because Saturn talks about worldly things. Now, you may say, I don't have a social media. For some of you, you don't have a social media now. But that was a part of the transformation where you went into yourself. You went into hermit road. You went into isolation. Now, for some of you, you blocked communication with certain people. You blocked certain people off your uh, social media. And if you're anything like me, certain sites, you can't, you know, you can't just what delete them okay especially if you forget a password <laughs> now for some of you that's what it is you may have gotten a play gotten on a platform where you can't remember your password so you can't delete it so some of you you may be getting notifications or whatever so somebody's still watching trying to see when your light is on now might i add you can go in on some of these platforms and change your um your visual uh what people see who you communicate with if you're online or things of that sort. For some of you, you know, you may be being called to go back on social media, all right, because you're coming out of hiding and you may have a position here that requires you to have a social media presence. But somebody's definitely studying the dark arts or this person is studying you. Somebody is greedy. In this scenario, this is also someone that attempted to hijack your accounts or put you in some things that you can't get out of. And so somebody is having to travel away. All right. The ninth house wise is here. We have an unconscious bias. We have. Um. A uh, social stereotype here. Okay. We have address your thoughts and feelings. Planting thoughts. Okay. So some of you, you may have a only, a only fans or something like that. Um, you know, 
or, or somebody in this group does. We got social stereotypes, addressing your thoughts and feelings and planting thoughts. So I feel like somebody was trying to paint you in a negative light, rather if you have like, uh, you know, a business where you show your body or whatever. We're talking about unconscious bias. So these are things that someone might not necessarily feel like um, is is. They may feel like it's normal for them to, uh, you know, attack or slander people in this particular field or religion or group or social stereotype, whatever. OK, so this is something that someone doesn't see as a, a weakness or, you know, they think that it's OK. Now, for some of you, somebody may be having to stop venturing these type of places. And this is the change that they are um, experiencing. Um, others of you, somebody may be dealing with the spirit wife and our spirit husband. Somebody is trying to mimic your energy in someone's dreams. They're trying to get this person to have relations with them. OK, we're talking about a meeting in 5D. So this person is thinking about you, dreaming about you or vice versa. OK, or this is possibly about a dream, a vision, something that somebody wants to manifest. However, they have to get rid of these people that are poking holes in the ship. Now, this person thought that they couldn't be stopped. They thought that whatever they did in the past was not going to be revealed, but it's definitely coming to an end here. Some of you, you may be traveling to um, a home going. Your goals, why is this here? So we have discovery here. So you discovered something about this person or they did. They possibly went back to this person. OK, or a career or something like that in the past. Somebody was trying to um, rehash something. OK, that should have ended. Now, this person is having legal issues with Mercury retrograde reinvention. This person may be going through some documentation or someone that is watching them is going through some sort of documentation here and somebody's running into some legal issues. Now, we do have the false I'm really happy card here. So somebody was holding out on some information that somebody felt was valuable in this situation. All right. So somebody may also be realizing that their associate or somebody that they have some sort of tie with our business may be interested in them. OK. And that is a one or uh, one um, of your opponents, your adversaries. OK. We have law of association similarity. Someone uses an item that is similar to what they're trying to mimic. So somebody's going to discover that there's a false prophet, a false profile that somebody was communicating with you or with this person and it wasn't them or it wasn't you. OK. In Libra, why is this here? Yeah, this is information about the past. Now, for some of you, this may be someone um, that they go to social clubs with. This could be a club owner here. OK, this can this could be someone that is used to a certain type. And maybe you are more I'm hearing demure. You're maybe you are more clothed or something like that. OK, it could definitely be a situation where somebody feels you are not. um or they did in the past. They felt like they were in a certain environment and they could do these risky practices. They could, you know, I don't know how to say that, but we have an in-law or a friend of the family. All right. We have the kissing cousins. You know how uh, you may meet someone. OK. Um, and you not know that they are a sixth, fifth, third second cousin now for some of you these people may know they may have met someone in your family that may be into this particular work where they deal with their bodies here okay so yeah somebody's going to gain some foresight and it's going to happen rapidly okay somebody may also be having some sort of health scare 
a Virgo may be significant. Sun, moon, or rising. So, yeah, we got, we got, uh, we definitely got someone that is into the same sex and they are dealing with somebody, a tornado, okay? This is someone that likes to gossip a lot and when they come around, things move and shift, okay? We got the tornado card here and we have the thunder card here. So, this is someone that causes a lot of chaos and conflict, okay? Somebody may have hooked up with someone that is a white collar criminal. Somebody may be experiencing some mortgage fraud. Some sort of fraud is taking place. Who you are, your desires, your actions. Why is this here? So this person didn't want the truth to be revealed. This is why they were so controlling. Okay. Somebody has like a bratty, uh, self-entitled Okay, this is someone that is worried about their appearances. It doesn't necessarily have to be an Aries, but I get why uh, this energy is here. This is someone that wants somebody to be in their head or they're always in their head because they want to be somebody's secret competition. This is the opposition. This is someone, an obstacle that you had to overcome or whoever it is dealing in this situation. They created some sort of entanglement. For some of you, this person is going to realize that this is an ex or a child that is involved in trying to manipulate the way someone thinks about you. Skill manipulation, right? This is also someone that doesn't have much time on their hands here because they are a divorcee. So this so this person, all right, a perfect example. I had to get, you know, thank, thankfully I have great neighbors. My packages were delivered to their home and they brought them to me. See, that is what I'm talking about, people. There's going to be unexpected things Whew. right up the stairs that happen, which will present itself as an obstacle at first. OK, but then you start realizing that the, you are around good people, you are around good energy and you can relax. Some. Somebody is in a partnership with somebody that does not want to let go. OK. Now they are working with people or they did in the past. And this is what's being illuminated. Okay. We have separate or disassociate from something or someone. Okay. Now, for some of you, this person knows. This person may be out of town. They may spend a lot of time traveling. Okay, this is a professional at what they do, or you are. You could be into, excuse me, why? You could be into heavy duty machinery. A class A could be significant. You could be an owner of a, a, a driving company or something like that. It's going to be different. For some of you, you may be having to take a test here because you may be going into the field of, uh, Heavy duty machinery, machinery. Okay, so you may have to upgrade. All right, especially like you, you know, uh, you, you could be, you could have a license that's restricted, and you have to take a test. I'm hearing hazmat. So some of you, you may be just doing things little, little things like that. Okay. Anything else? Somebody may spend, spend a lot of time on the road, and while they're on the road, no matter what it is they do, they're thinking of why they need to let someone go. But while this person is working, they have someone that is definitely watching you. Now, I'm not saying that you are, tr are trying to intrude in this person's life or whatever. Some of you, somebody may be, okay? They could have met someone that, you know, is a sugar baby or something like that. But I don't feel like this is my collective. And if this is your collective, you, you may be in this energy of having to reinvent yourself. Okay. Everybody makes mistakes, but don't continue to stay in that negative, you know, in that negative energy. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, all right. So we have the we have the entanglement card here. You know, 
So this is both male and female energies that possibly are swingers. Okay. So you may be finding that out going forward. This card has been coming out a lot. Now, for some of you, this, you may not be uh, into this, right? And this is just a fantasy that someone, you know, someone may want a three-way situationship or someone is curious about the same sex or, or group uh, activities, okay, is also what I'm getting. Anything else? Somebody may also have low energy because they spend a lot of time in, you know, doing what it is they do here. Okay. Possibly at a club or something like that. Anything else? We got somebody that's vain, excessive pride in their appearance or achievements. This is someone that's conceited and opinionated. Somebody has a lot of opinions about what someone does, but for some of you, it is because they are hiding their true identity. Now you could be an empath or somebody is in the scenario is an empath. We have, there's always something to be thankful for. All right. So I feel like someone wanted to make you feel less than or make you feel weird or try to alienate you because of your spiritual gift. This is why you are being not well forced for some of you because it's being forced because you do, you may be used to this type of treatment. And so the divine wants to open up something greater for you. So you have to quit going to your comfort zone and keep moving forward. And I'm being guided to end it there. OK, somebody has bottled emotions or they keep their emotions suppressed here. This could also have something to do with the incantation, a jar spell. Um, this is somebody that did this to multiple people. So this is giving me a practitioner or someone that, you know, that they are partnered with. And maybe every time they feel threatened by someone in that person's environment, they do some sort of spell work. OK, yeah, especially with this coming out today. So I feel like you need to be in this energy of gratitude, right? Because first and foremost, rejection is a form of protection. All right. But I feel like, you know, this person that they are leaving or this person that feels like they can't be themselves is truly a sad situation because for for this person to go through all of this, just because of envy and jealousy, because you are who you are collective, it's really a sad situation. So if you feel led to pray for this person, pray for yourself first, pray for uh, perseverance and strength to get through this energy. But if you definitely feel like praying for this person, just to release that energy, okay, go ahead and do so. Deuces.